searching for something Something I knew was there but couldn't see I remember the moment When the one I was searching for found me I can't make sense of it, no getting over it How much your love changed everything Oh, cause I know you now How could I go without Jesus? You're more than enough for me I don't need anything else I need your love, I need your love I don't want anything else I need your love
Well, well, well. Guess who's back, church kids? It's me, the villain. <laughs> anyway, this month you all are supposed to be learning about truth, what it is, and how to find it. But you see, in my hands is the map to finding the truth. And guess what? I'm gonna rip it up. <laughs> Now you will never know how to find the truth. Unless, of course, Charles and Tracy can find these map pieces and put them back together. But I doubt they can, because I'm the villain and I'm a genius! <laughs> Man, I'm getting too old for this. The Church Kids Show! Church Kids! Did you hear? The villain is back and we are in trouble. He ripped up our map to finding truth and now we have to find all the pieces and put it back together. Hey, Tracy. Yeah, Charles. What, what, why are we whispering? For dramatic effect, Charles. Oh, got it. Problem is this kind of hurts my throat <coughs> a little bit and I'm not sure the church kids can even hear us. Okay, 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 fine. Is this better? Ah, yes, thank you. Church kids, as I was saying, this month we are learning all about truth and nothing but the truth. The truth! Yeah, and if you're wondering what is truth and how do I find it and what do I do with it, well, so are we. And the answer was all written down on a nice map, but as you know, that map is gone! Dun, dun, dun! Oh, wow, Tracy, you're really into the dramatics today. Just really trying to set the scene, you know? Mm. But anyway, if you're all wondering why Charles and I are dressed like this, it's because this month we are truth detectives, and our mission is to uncover, yes, that's right, the truth. That's right. So you can all call me Detective Charles. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm... Detective Tracy! Oh, you copied me. Hey! Let's check out the first task that the villain has for us today. The villain has given us a mission called Bible Verse or Disney Lyrics. Huh. Is it just me or does that not sound very villainous to you? Yeah, I had no idea villains liked Disney music. Me either. Well, Detective Charles, let's try to crack the case! Correct! Here we go! The villain so nicely has texted us the questions what? that we are to solve. How did they get my number? Mmm, make a true villain stealing numbers. <laughs> it's either a Bible verse or a lyric from a Disney song. Mm. So Charles, unlike other months, this is not a competition between you and I. It's a competition between us and the villain. Timor. Ah, 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 ah. Wait, but then why did you do the villain laugh <laughs> if you're not know. the villain? What? I'm oh no! Not the villain. Under Don't. that. No. I've Don't cracked the case. <laughs> Tracy's the villain. So, our first line is, so, we do not lose heart. Can you see my mouth if I go like this? The first line is this. So, we do not lose heart. Though our outer self is wasting away, our inner self is being renewed day by day. Okay, I think it rhymed. And so, that makes me think it's a song lyric. So these, was it Disney? Disney quotes? I'm pretty sure that's a verse. It doesn't really rhyme. It just has this day in it twice. No, no, no. Away, day by day. Oh. <laughs> Though our inner self is wasting away, our inner self no, is just, being you, renewed you, day by you, day. You, you said it didn't that have to be lyrics. That sound like Disney to me. That but it's not, not everything like is sung. <laughs> not everything is sung in Disney. That is correct. Yeah! That's the yes! Yes! <laughs> Take that, villain. Second Corinthians 4.16. Second uh, Corinthians, ooh, yeah. I've crossed the horizon to find you, I know your name. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh. What is that song? I've crossed the Are you serious? I know this and you don't? I mean, it's from Frozen. Right? No! Yes, it is. Moana! Oh, Moana. Oh. <gasps> Guys. I, you. Uh, it is Disney, though, It has right? to be Disney, yes. right? <laughs> Yeah, they ah, the Bible, we got it. Shot. Very nice. Right. Next, next. Next, uh, the flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. Who would, who would say something like that in That's Disney? Hard. I don't know. 
The flower that blooms in adversity is the most rare and beautiful of all. I don't think that's a Bible. Or Bible. Oh, what do I you think? I don't know, that's really hard. I'm gonna say... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Disney! That is correct, it's from Mulan. Yeah! I was gonna oh, say Mulan. Yeah, Mulan! I don't know where it's from. He, no, he plucks it off the tree. She is energetic and strong. A hard worker. What? <laughs> that could be that, from, like, any, from Yeah, from anywhere. any movie or any book. She is energetic, She's energetic and strong, a hard worker. It doesn't have to be ba sung. Ba 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 ba. I feel like I probably think the Bible. Bible. I think Bible. Yep. Like, a, like a Proverbs. Proverbs. I'm gonna say Bible, what do you say? Okay, Bible Bible is our guess. That is correct, and it is Proverbs. Yes! Oh! Does that mean we get, wait, are we getting points Bonus for getting these points. wrong? Ding, 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 I mean, ding, 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 ding. right? You are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Uh, that was to me. I'm gonna say Disney. <laughs> yeah. Because okay. I'm pretty sure I've seen that on a sign at Hobby Lobby before. Your confidence so. inspired me. I say Disney too. Okay. That is correct. It's ah! Winnie the Pooh. What is that? Four for four? Five, six for whatever. We got all of them right so far. We are powerless amongst this mighty army that is about to attack us. We do not know what to do, but we are looking to you for help. What are, what are your instincts telling you? What's I feel like probably you? the Bible. Probably? They're probably talking about like Aaron or like Moses. The Bible. It is the Bible. It is the Bible. And it is not the message version. Woo -hoo! Yes. Be strong and take heart. <laughs> what? That's it. <laughs> Be strong and take heart. That's that could that, I say both. Be strong and take heart. It, I don't know. <sighs> Be strong and take I've said heart. that it has, doesn't have to be sung, just be like the one. And take heart. Just like the one flower comment you made was not sung, right? Sure. Bible. We, we will say Bible. It is the Bible. Yeah. Yes. Psalm twenty-one. Wow. Psalm, Psalm, just the whole. That's the whole chapter. Where there is kindness, there is goodness. What do you think, Bible or Disney? Bible. What do you think, Charles? Or Disney? Pip pip. Cheerio. Pippity pip pip. One, two, three, Bible! Bible. Wrong! Ah! Wrong. That oh. is something Cinderella's mom said. Okay, well the good news is we got most of them right. So I say... Chip chip. Oh, they're gonna see her old saying. <laughs> chip, chip chip cheerio. Chip chip cheerio. <laughs> we defeated the villains game! Yes! yes! Oh. Game number one, or challenge number one. Challenge number Done. one. So, Correct. so, uh, so, He's uh, cracked. Now what happens? <laughs> oh! <laughs> a map has appeared before us! Ooh, or part of a map. Ooh, it's just a little piece. What does it look like? Show them, they need to see. <laughs> what is it? Let's see what's on this thing, even though I can't see There's while I'm doing this. There's a boat, and something. A world! It's a globe, and it says, hmm. the, what does it say? Something world. The world. A new world. I knew. It, what it does not say is anything about truth, so I think we need the rest of the map. I think I agree. Because piece, a piece of a map is nice, but uh, you gotta have the whole thing to understand what's going on. You gotta have the whole thing, you Charles! You gotta have the whole thing. Okay. Ah. Well, hopefully we get the rest of the map next week and we can figure out what it says. But let's take a look at what game you guys are playing today. Yes! What's up, church kids? Um, I'm Teacher Jeremiah. I'm just kicking it in the church kids pre-K classroom. You see that? You see? The, you see that? And I'm here with you because we are about to play a very fun game. This game is super easy, and we're gonna call it Find the Paper Clips. For this game, you are gonna need a bucket, some safety pit. I mean, some paper clips, and. Shaving cream. Shaving cream. How you play the game, you're gonna wanna fill this bucket with this shaving cream and those paper clips. And you have 60 seconds to find as many paper clips as you can. The player who can find the most paper clips is the champion of this game. Alright, church kids, get ready to get messy. Okay. 
begins in three, two, one. Remain the word's disciple. I will not sit back and be idle. Vital is the word to my survival. Revival when the word is seen as final. How does a book give off light? You might ask. Well, we begin to glow when we know the word with every cell. Lamp to my feet. What does that mean? I guess the best way to put it is I can see. Cause darkness is not hard to find. Walk into it feeling blind. Get the word into your heart and let it transform your mind. The teachings of prophets and Jesus teach us the truth about how our Father freed us. Like the path in front of you is some scripture. Let it bring to you a clearer picture. The wisdom from the world is absolutely endless. Page after page, I remain the words of prayer. The word is our weapon. No, no, I didn't stutter. Cutting through the shadows like a knife through hot butter. Satan shut us when we utter The word of God steers our lives like a giant rudder Brothers and sisters please listen Jesus' vision must be our mission So get into your Bible to help your spirit thrive This is what it means in Psalm 119, 105 hey. Your word is a lamp to my feet It's a lamp, it's a lamp, it's a lamp It's a light and a light to my path I shine a big bright light in my path Your word is a lamp to my feet Oh well, church kids, as you heard in our memory verse rap, our verse this month is Psalm 119, 105, which says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Whose word? What? Whose word is it talking about? And what word? Is it the word sparkle? Because I love that word. Tracy, what, what are you talking about? The verse says, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. But whose word? are we talking about? Uh, well, Tracy, the verse is talking about God's word, which is just another way to talk about the Bible. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, the Bible is full of the truth of God's word and it helps us lead us through life. Have you ever gotten up at night and realized that you have to go to the bathroom? So you start walking down the hall and you realize you can't see anything? Oh yeah. One time, I tripped on my dog Marley because she was right in front of the door, but I couldn't see her. Well, just like a flashlight would help lead us in the dark to find our way, the Bible helps us guide our steps through life by showing us the truth and how to live a life following Christ. That's pretty cool, Charles. Sure is. Let's take a look at our lesson today and see what else we can learn about truth. Let's do it. Truth, 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 truth. We're all tangled up. Hang on for the, wait, hang on. What? Ellie, what are you doing here? I'm guest hosting this month. Wait, where's Jamie? She's taking some time off. I didn't know we could do that. 
We're all tangled up. Hang on for the loop. Three, two, one. Lift off. We have a lift off. I'm Ricky. I'm Ellie. And let's get right down to it. Truth. What is it? Where is it? How is it? Why is it? Sometimes, when is it? Truth, Ellie, what does that make you think of? It makes me think of telling the truth, doing and saying the right things. Yeah, it makes me think of the opposite of false, so something that you can trust, truest. Do you trust me to tell you the truth? I, I mean, I'm sure I, I could. You know, we did just meet, so. Yeah, well, I have a challenge to see how much we actually trust each other. Oh, great. Yeah. Each of us will have a yuck or yum card in front of us. And on one card is a picture of something yummy. On the other card is the yucky version of that yummy treat. Now with each round, one of us gets vision and the other gets a decision. The person with vision gets to sneak a peek at their card. And then the person with decision gets to choose to stick with the card they have or trade. We'll reveal what we've got and take a bite. <sighs> I feel like this would be really helpful to know whether or not you're bluffing or not. Ready to play? Uh, as ready as I'll ever be. Pop quiz, truth seekers. Oh. Uh. Hey, since we're talking about looking for the truth, why don't we do some true or false? You know, just a speed round of true or false. Here we go. True or false, the moon has its own time zone. That's true, it's called lunar time. True or false, cheese is good for horses. That's false, and it also probably explains why your horse has wicked diarrhea. True or false, the original name for donuts was oily cakes. Oily cakes? That's true. The Dutch word for donut was olikoex, or something like that. I, I'm not Dutch, I don't know how to pronounce it. What is true and what is false? Every single person that you know is on a search for truth. You, me, that guy who keeps asking, Alexa, how old is Tom Cruise? I, is he in his 50s, 60s, 70s? I gotta know. Let's start with the basics, okay? The biblical translation of the word truth is corresponding to reality. So if you want the whole truth and nothing but the truth, God's reality is the truth. As followers of Jesus, we believe that God's word is reliable. We believe that Jesus was and is real and that his claims are valid. This truth invites you into a lifetime of curiosity. You search for the truth, you find God's reality, and then you take that and you make that your unshakable bedrock truth. That's your belief. Don't settle for false. You don't need false. True or false? I'm the quiz man. That's true. Goodbye. Hey, my loop friends. Josh here. It's always exciting to get to hang out with you guys. So it's January. December is behind us. Christmas is behind us. So taking down Christmas lights, you can see that I've got these tangled up Christmas lights here. Check out what I did while I was taking my Christmas lights down. Y'all, I broke my Christmas lights. It made me start thinking, though, about like when stuff starts getting tangled, right? Like my Christmas lights are a mess. I took them down in a hurry. Why did I do that? I just did not deal with it now. But maybe start thinking about what happens when stuff starts getting tangled. Well, when it gets tangled, it starts to actually lose its shape, right? Like my Christmas lights lost shape because they're never gonna work again because I broke them. Okay, but it, then it made me think about the truth. What happens when the truth gets tangled? And how do we sometimes, maybe even accidentally, tangle the truth? There's a few things that we could do. One is that we could prioritize our own feelings or our own opinions over the truth. We could say, well, I know that that's what the Bible says, or I know that that's the truth, but I kind of feel this other way. Like I have an opinion about that and I feel like my opinion should bear more weight. Or maybe sometimes we actually even add to the truth and we do it as a little bit of a power grab. We take the truth and we go, okay, that's part of it. And then we add our own like little bit of flair to it. When in reality, we know that Jesus plus nothing is truth. That the word of God is the truth and we don't need to be adding stuff to it. But sometimes we do that to get what we want. And another possible way is that we use this watered down version of the truth to make life a little bit easier on us, right? To make things work out. So maybe we feel like, well, there's this one way of living that I know is sin that I know a decision I shouldn't be making, but I want to make that decision so badly. Well, here's my challenge for you. As you begin to notice the truth getting tangled, I wanna challenge you to become more and more like Christ. Ready to play? Ready as I'll ever be. I'm ready. Okay. Wow, giving me nothing. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this card. I think I'm gonna keep it. Hmm. Excellent. What do you have? Toothpaste and mayo ice cream with Oreos. So, that's one of my favorite combos. I have cookies and cream ice cream. Great. So I read your reaction wrong. Oh my. You ready? Take yeah. A... One. Oh my gosh. Two, three. If you could rank it on a scale of one to 10. Negative 10. Negative 10, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, let's go ahead and move on to round two. Believe you get the vision. Yes, I get to look this time. Okay. And then based on my reaction, yeah. you get to decide. Okay. Okay? Let's see. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. That was nothing. I. I, I I couldn't gather much mm -hmm. from that. So I'm gonna take a risk. I'm gonna switch. Okay. All right, you ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Ah! No! And the Oscar goes to no! me. What are you eating, Ricky? No! Of all the things to ruin. <laughs> oh, I get a bad slice of pizza. It's, I get a regular slice of pizza. It's strawberry, jam, raisins, cinnamon gummy bears, oh, I love pizza. beets, and Vienna sausage. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I'm really excited about this. I love pepperoni, actually. Oh, this is gonna give me trust issues with pizza from here on until the end of time. Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Three, two, one. Mmm. So good. Mm. Oh. Oh, 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 there it is. Oh. It's, it's like hot and spicy. Oh, oh, got this. This is good. Oh, this, this is the worst. Pe this, why? I like this. I didn't, pizza. I like this game now. I would say this is unmeasurably bad. Oh, wow. There okay. is, there's not a number that yeah. is known. I'll take another bite, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm getting pepperoni, hmm. cheese. That's the word I was looking for. Crust. Miserable. You do have to share, and I will prove it to you. Ugh. <clears throat> hey, Google, don't I have to share? Sorry, I don't understand. Doesn't the Bible say I have to share? Sorry, I did not. What are you searching for? <laughs> Hi, Levels. Hi, I'm the internet, but you can call me Web. Oh, you just said that. Yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah. So what are you searching for? Oh, so my best friend Chelsea just won a ton of free Reese's Pieces, and she won't share with me. Ooh. So I'm trying to prove to her that she's wrong. And to do that, I need evidence. I need truth. Hey, Google, how do I find truth? Sorry, I didn't understand. Ugh, you're useless in this. Hey, whoa, 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 no need to be rude. Maybe I'm going about this all wrong. Maybe Google isn't the right place to ask for this kind of truth. Oh, Google's no good for you, huh? Can't ask Alexa? Well, who would you normally ask? Well, normally I would ask Chelsea, but I guess when I'm searching for truth, I would talk to a godly friend or call my mom Ooh. or call my pastor, Pastor Bob. Oh, hey Google, call Pastor Bob. Or, or I could talk to the Holy Spirit about it. Make sure I take time to listen, hear what he has to say back. Yeah, I guess that would be a better resource than Siri. Or, or there's a ton of good theology books, especially on truth. I could read something by C.S. Lewis. Oh, Clyde Staples Lewis, prolific author of uh, beloved children's books like the Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah, but he didn't just write Chronicles of Narnia, like, like near Christianity. Or, obviously, the Bible is the best source of truth. Wow, pretty embarrassing that you thought about that last, huh? Well, the Bible can be a little intimidating. I think when you're trying to find ways to live your life, the best place to start is to read about how Jesus lived his life. Ooh, Jesus of Nazareth, son of God and historical founder of Christianity. Biography of his life available in the books Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John of the Bible. Uh, how did he live his life? Well, you know, he lived selflessly. He, he was kind. He thought about the needs of others way before he thought about himself. Wow, sounds pretty unbratty. You know, thinking about this, like wrestling with truth, it makes me think about my friend Lucy. She's she's asking a lot of really big questions and searching for some big truths right now. And I know it could seem like sometimes these questions lead us away from God, but I think it's 
It's in the questions, in the untangling the truth and involving God in the process. It's where we grow. Mm. Okay, so untangling this truth logically. You want to live more like Jesus, who lived uh, a very loving and unselfish life, who uh, probably thought about sharing with others more than he thought about how people shared with him. Huh? I get it. <laughs> I get mm -hmm. it. I think the truth in this whole candy situation is that I'm being a big old brat. Huh. And I should probably go apologize. Oh, good. Well, you go apologize. I'm going to sign off. Logging off. Boop. Round three. Round three. Ricky, uh, I think I... you were reading the card this time. Yeah, you get vision. Okay. Wow, you're, re you're really looking long and hard at that one. There's just a lot of words on here. Okay. I think I'm also gonna take a risk this time and I'm gonna switch it up. Okay. Yep. Wow. Oh, the first sentence is slice of meat cake. Well, that's great. Wow. Oh, you got literal cake. Okay. Wow. Oh, wow. I shouldn't have switched. I shouldn't have taken a risk. Oh, man, this is great. Okay, here we go. Man. Yeah. It's super sweet. Oh, man. I was close. I thought I had it. Was I did it? not have it. It was like all of the things together. Mm -hmm. The man has just really wrapped it all up, and that's, Ugh. I think, what got me in the end. There's just so many layers. Oh, So no. much to discover. Oh, no. Yeah, so much to discover. Oh. It's not great, but it's not as bad as the other one. Oh, man. Yeah. How's your cake? Your real cake? The cake is just delightful. Yeah. I think my favorite part is that there are no pickles on or around it. Ready for round four? Yeah, the final round. Final round. I think I have vision this time. All right. Here we go. Mm. I am going to stick with mine. Okay. I got gummy chicken feet. I love candy. Candy's my favorite. What? Ah! That looks like uh, that looks like real chicken feet. <laughs> it's worse. They actually look like grandma fingers. It's worse than chicken feet. What is it? It's pickled chicken feet. Oh, wow! Can you describe what you're feeling right now? That was ah. a lot of like emotion that just came out. Existential dread. Okay, that looks like small fingers. Actually, like they small are hands. The small fingers of chickens. Yeah. That's like a that's a good bounce. They've got a good vertical. I don't even know what that looks part horrifying. to chew on. Does it have fingernails? It, mm, 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 it does have fingernails. I thought I saw those from over here. <sighs> All right, here we go. I'm tasting what pain feels like. Mine tastes like happiness. In a gummy. Yeah, that's good. That's that's really good. <laughs> Let's go with something else. <laughs> okay, follow the street. I'm so nervous what's going to be at the end of this. Okay. God created you for a reason. One of the reasons I think God created me was to just be a servant for his people. Um, knowing that he created me for a reason and he was purposeful in that helps me get through the rough times, but also helps me celebrate the good times. Sometimes I feel like God forgets about me. And then God has this incredible way of wrapping his arms around me. You are not who others say you are. You are who Christ says you are. Even when things are hard, I know Christ sees me differently than I do in that situation. The Lord is your shepherd. You lack nothing. I love this because it's such a good reminder that God supplies everything we need. And honestly, I needed this reminder today. Fear is not in control, God is in control. I don't have to listen to fear, but I can listen to what God says. No matter what I do, it's not in my power, it's in God's. There's nothing you can do to get outside God's love for you. I'm a mess sometimes. 
and I sometimes hurt people and I get things wrong. You know, everybody has a past, I have a past, and what matters is who I am today and I'm with Christ. There is nothing too big for God's power or too small for God's heart. It's just a powerful thing to know that the creator of the universe sees me and knows me. This is something that I actually have struggled with a lot recently. Um, it's just such a powerful reminder for me. God will never leave you. When I was in middle school, I didn't really know what it meant to actually follow Jesus. Um, but even throughout all of that, God was with me and he was writing my story. And eventually when I came to realize my need for him and my need for his grace as a, as a sinner, um, he started showing up in massive ways. What was that for you, Ricky? I think my mouth is ruined forever. Yeah. I learned that I really like birthday cake mm -hmm. way more than I like ruined pizzas. I think this fake ice cream is one of the grossest things I've ever tasted. Everyone is on search for truth. When you find the truth is tangled, ask God to help you untangle it. And as you seek truth, grow in every way more and more like Christ. Until next time, enjoy, enjoy the ride. ride. All right, you want to take one more bite of, of, of false food? Sure. Delicious. Yummy. Unfortunately, we are still missing the rest of the pieces to our map that will help lead us to the truth. Well, I guess we'll have to see if we can defeat the villain next week and find the rest. Church kids, don't forget this week that our faith declaration, that was cool, <laughs> that our faith declaration is, Jesus leads me to the truth. If you ever feel like you need answers, just look to Jesus and his word will guide you. His word is in the Bible, as we talked about earlier. Okay. We will see you next week. And don't forget, it is a great day to don't be a church, church kid. kid. Oh. The Church Kid Show.